Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Airstreamers, where you never know which stream will ride. Hello and welcome. You were just talking on mute there. I do that all the time in conference calls. <laughs> It's like I'm talking, and I don't even go on video in my conference calls. So oh it's like, my goodness! I'm just sitting there talking to myself, and then. So fun fact: we just after our muskrat meals uh, ended at six forty, five forty-five. We were like, you know what? Let's just set up now so we can chill for a bit before we go on live. Um, and hi, Shannon. I see that you're here and it is totally like a podcast and you'll see the game uh, shortly. So anyway, we start getting set up. We're all ready. We have like 45 minutes to just chill and everything just broke. When I tell you the computer stopped, the, the stream stopped, the camera, everything. One after domino effect just fell apart. Um, and so anyway, we are here. We made it. Who knows what's going to happen tonight? Like our little tag. You I never know. know what stream will ride. Exactly. I don't know what's going to exactly. happen. Exactly. Um, but I see that you are all aware that we have a new emote. I am so excited. I need to just quickly give a shout out to Danica. Danica um, is a somebody who we know personally. Um, we hired her and asked her to make an emote for us. She has her own Twitch channel too, which if you guys want to check out, she does a Twitch channel um, that is just like some of her artwork that she does. And it's Egan Arts. We follow her too. She is really clever. And we just gave her a little bit of direction. We were like, hey, we want something that you guys can go in and just greet each other with because we're all such a friendly bunch here. And I think she totally delivered. So, Shannon, you, I saw a message that you said, I don't have any cool emotes. Um, the reason that you might have different emotes than others is because um, there's a subscription element to um, get the personalized channel emotes. But you probably are already an Amazon Prime subscriber. And if you are, you could connect the two together. You would go to our page, like the, the Twitch page that you're on, and it says subscribe. And then you click um, uh, connect with twit or what is it connect with amazon prime and then it'll uh give you all of those emotes and a couple other things but the emotes are really the things that yeah, i think people. you don't get an ad when this when this stream starts but yeah it, if you do it through twitch totally free yeah um it's very cool and or wait the, if you do it through amazon if you do sorry. it through amazon it's free if you do it through amazon it's totally free. if you don't do it through amazon because you don't have an amazon prime membership then it's a couple of bucks but the Benefit to us is if you see there's like a little subscription goal on the chat that you're all looking at, like on the video that you're looking at. So our next emote will become unlocked at 50 subscribers. So currently tonight we're at 35. Um, so, And then we'll have to put Danica to work again. Yeah, which now that this is as cute as it is, I'm looking forward to like more of these emotions. Yeah, I mean, ones, we were doing you know? just the cats before because we had some we had some prior art that we were like using for that. But now it's like now we got to think of all sorts of creative things. Hi is just like hello. It's just super basic. I and mean, so, no, I mean, we could have like a Z like a Z one because like you're tired we can have like a sad one a happy one okay uh, so there's no sleeping in this stream this there's no sadness in this stream this is true so let's go on the positive side <laughs> and say there's why a did happy i go one. right to yeah that? eliza's like <laughs> snooze fest and boredom <laughs> oh my god so let's go with like a laughter one maybe yeah and a laughter excuse one is me good. one would be really good yeah. Uh, the yes. Lots of positive options, Elias. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we need uh, an angry face with the curses <laughs> yeah. right over the lips. We need an unsubscribe yeah. option. It's hysterical. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome everyone. And if you are new here, like Shannon is, let's give Shannon a nice warm welcome. Hey, um, Shannon. Thanks for figuring Twitch out and Shannon. joining us. Uh, you, oh, we'd need a Christopher emote. Too. Oh my God. Uh, Shannon, if you do the Twitch subscription while the stream is happening, you even get a cool little alert on screen. Just saying, you know, maybe you want to, <laughs> maybe you want to do that. Uh, lastly, before we move on to the next thing, I recommend using Chrome as a browser if you don't already have it. So 
Yes, Heidi, an excuse me, excuse me emoji. Um, also, that, I would I would just be curious to see what Danica comes up with. She could come up that. with something. For oh sure. yeah, for sure. <laughs> we literally gave her no like. We were just like, hey, we want like a greeting, and I'm like, the the emo are 120 pixels or 112 pixels by 112 pixels which is nothing nothing like, and literally like, nothing how how could you possibly take those small amount of pixels and turn it into something that expresses a greeting yeah like an emotion of some sort you know so um we do have a mega mag muskrat love that i'm gonna just do now um so i'm gonna do it eating my salad with a big fork gross wait <laughs> Sam and Watson. I appreciate that. And also, if you guys follow Cody Rigsby from Peloton, he eats his salads in a big bowl, and that's like kind of his his thing. So Elias, oh my god, he's ridiculous. Bernie. So Elias, if you were to eat your salad in a big bowl like Cody your fork would literally get lost in it. Uh huh. It would be like a demi toss situation. Uh huh. It would be a demi toss situation. A hundred percent. It would, would be like a, it would be like if you were eating a salad out of a an above ground pool with a dollhouse fork. Correct. And I would prefer <laughs> that. Yes. Um, I want an ice cream emoji, an ice cream eating emoji. Ah, oh, I just want ice cream. Let's be <sighs> honest. Uh, if the airstream goes green beside chat typing and click, it will give you more points. Yes, Leanne to Shannon. Um, that's true. The, that's how you're going to get points in the bottom little airstream logo, which allow you to do things like get a, uh, what is it? A lesson from me for language, Greek language. If you want to have us pet the muskrats, if you want us to get a muskrat, all these kinds of things. Um, you can even request the game that we play next time. <clears throat> Leanne's with the jokes today. Yeah, but can, can Cody, Cody take the <laughs> wrapper off with a starburst within his mouth? Uh, if you were not watching Muskrat Meals, I would gladly demonstrate that again tonight and maybe get some cool <laughs> ASMR involved. So why Shannon saying trough? Like a, like eating out of a trough. <laughs> oh, yes. I would prefer that. Although, no, that's gross. All this gunkiness over here i wouldn't be able to i can't that. deal with that i can't deal with food on my hands and like the greasy feeling Ugh. I, it's like terrible i'm like <laughs> Shannon, why are you stressed out there is no stress on the stream unless it's me and chris stressing out over beating a boss or setting up the stream that is stressful mm -hmm. every time listen i'm gonna put this out into the twitch universe and ask that somehow it gets updated so that it remembers the cameras because now we've got like gazillion of of cameras and it's a process to figure it out every single we time. We have four cameras and they are an all we we have a literal studio in this room. And I <laughs> And love I love it. it. Yeah, I love it. Katie said, Good evening, everyone. I'm currently getting my taxes ready, so this is a great change of pace. Gross. Get rid of those. Throw them out. Don't throw them out, please, because then you'll get arrested and then we won't have you on the stream anymore. Um, how are you guys able to play tonight when last week you couldn't? I don't know why we couldn't. Why couldn't no, we play last, last week? Last week we played, last week we couldn't because it was a hot mess disaster when we tried to play. To play what? Uh, Phasmophobia. Oh, we're not playing Phasmophobia tonight. We're playing Monster Hunter Rise, which is a different game. So we'll be able to play because it's not related to any of the technical issues that, that, um, that we had last time so uh you guys are oh, great you know why you. maybe they're maybe who said that is heidi it? said it oh heidi maybe is thinking monster hunter is phasmophobia monster yeah, hunter no, is no, a no. whole new game no totally we, different. we bought it over the weekend we've been trying to play it we were probably our most successful last night yeah <clears throat> um no this is not that game uh right now if you are new to watching and your name is not um, Bella Meg, is Bella Meg on tonight? Um, excuse me, Bella Meg forgot she mixed up the schedule, and I, as a good friend, messaged her in our Instagram chat and said, "This is your bestie reminder that we're streaming tonight, not Tuesday." Did she respond? No. Oh my god! I got jerk. ghosted. I can't. 
phasmophobia. Ghosted. Uh, Mozzie said, I need this tonight. I had to spend $426 to get my furnace fixed. Oh. I'm, oh my I'm god, so that's the sorry. worst. Like those things that are just that is a chunk of change. When you pay and then you don't really I mean you just kind of are like at status quo, like you're back to where yeah. you should be. Yeah, our friend's mom ended up um buying a new washer or a washer and dryer, I think she said. The stimulus check came in and went right back to that, you know. <clears throat> and now we're at that point where when my um comfort level or my patience with the refrigerator lapses and we buy a new refrigerator will be at that point yes but at at this point i'm not ready to suck it up and i'm gonna just so so that you all have something to look forward to there's a blindfold here that might be used later for the can chris get it segment and i can't wait um is yes, there... Heidi. I actually have it written down. Eli- uh, Heidi said, Elias, I was supposed to remind you of something, but I don't know what. <laughs> Great. Thanks for the <laughs> reminder. Um, is, wait, is today donut day? No. Hey, Brian. Welcome. You're Bri- Okay. So listen, everyone. Brian and Gavin built an arcade unit in, at home, and it is the coolest thing. I am I'm so, so impressed. impressed. I mean, like. I'm blown away. It's a cool mix of modern and a cool mix of retro. No, it has a marquee on it. A digital marquee that you can change and program. It is legit. I mean, our studio is garbage compared to that. Legitimately. Chrissy wants us to uh, have something break in the house so that that Chrissy can see you be handyman again. (laughs) Listen, Chrissy. The only things that I'm neurotic about is keeping the molding clean, <laughs> fixing the grout if there are any chips in it, and making sure that the refrigerator is not making some god-awful noise. That's it. Everything else gets called out, contracted, call a handyman. I have no other skills. <clears throat> um, Pacific Ocean Plant. Oh, here. Hi. Um, my patience was tested, said Brian. And I imagine, honestly, like I, I, me and Chris do things like that a lot. And when I tell you that tonight, we had a brief, brief moment where Chris goes, if I have to set it all up again, I can't, I can't do it. I can't stream again. Yeah. I was like, we're canceling tonight because it's really just rough. Like it's so frustrating. You know why it doesn't work? I'm not going to get technical, but I think I know why it, it, um, why there was a problem with it because we added this new camera this one the overhead camera meg mega meg excuse me this is this is your fault i'm gonna blame you (laughs) (laughs) when we added the camera i think it probably is running too much on like the one usb and that caused a problem because this is the first time that we're using the capture card for the switch oh you're right so i just had to like move it around you're right. You're right. You're right. That is totally what it is. But I mean, listen, it's important to have a top down view of the muskrats. And I think it's worth it. Um, does Chris wear a hat to bed? He does. No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't. <laughs> I tell him all the time that he needs to just do his hair because it's so cute. And he's like, no, my hair is gross. My hair is gross. I'm like, yeah, I don't it's feel really like doing not. it. It's too much work. Um, it's not too much work. It's totally fine. He's just being a baby about it. Um, Kitty movement, that was Raisin. <clears throat> Raisin, are so, you going to be a parrot cat tonight? Before we get started, I actually want Chris to share the story that we promised last time. Uh, well, on the muskrat meals, we're sort of like crossing streams here. Um, with the Peloton story. Are you okay to share that, share that now or do you want to do it later? Wait, which story is this? The Peloton milestone story? Oh, the milestone story. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a story. Okay, so uh, my my Peloton started user- like the beginning. I my guess. username is cursed. Yes. My Peloton username is cursed. I, for those of you who know, I am a fan of Peloton through and through. I love Jess Sims. I love Cody. Jess Sims forever. <laughs> and I, at the time, we didn't have the tread, so we didn't really know Jess Sims, but my hundredth milestone was coming up. And 
we live close to the city, so we decided that we were going to drive into the city that morning. It was like, what, uh, a, a later ride, right? It was like 7 or 8 o'clock, I think, I just night. need to know, I'm confused a little bit by your direction here. This is the story, right? Like the one... The hundredth mile story. With the green outfit? Yes, okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, go for it. So we yeah, drove so it was in, a little bit later. So we drove into the city, all excited about doing my hundredth ride. And um, I'm going to interject. Keep in mind, at this point, this was a bit early into like the Peloton wave. Yeah, this was like two or three you years know? ago, right? So at, at this point, it wasn't as huge a deal. So like people didn't at this po- point like get what was happening. Like we were telling our friends, we're going to do this. We're going to meet Cody. No, nobody no like, one nobody really we knew clue. had a Peloton at that point. Yeah. Hi, Naboo. So we drive into the city. We booked the the ride with Cody. Um, and it was uh, one of those like live DJ rides where they had uh, DJ on stage with Cody as he's doing the ride. And we get going. We're like, it was a 30 minute ride, right? Or a 45 minute the ride. City? I don't know. No, no. The actual like. The oh, bike ride. oh, oh, the ride. The, the cycling ride was like 30 minutes. I think it was a 30 minute ride. No, no, no. Wait, it was. No, it was 45 minutes. For sure. It okay. was 45 okay. minutes. Yeah, you're right. So we start riding. Um, I'm like kind of giving it my all. And if you if you go to the studio in New York, the way that it's set up, it's like a horseshoe. So there's like two U-shaped tiers. This was the old studio, not anymore. And then this, the instructor is right in the middle of the U. And the DJ is right to the left of the instructor. And I am right to the left of the, of the DJ. So what I see from my point of view is straightforward, just looking. I see the side of Cody pedaling, and then I see the side of the DJ booth with the DJ standing behind. This is not John Michael. John Michael's fantastic. This is, was some fill-in for... Look, if you can see this. This, yeah. this is the studio... This is where the DJ <laughs> Mega is. said. Mega Meg said, "I'm gonna need a chart." So yeah, yeah. So like that's, this is where the DJ is right here, and this this is where Chris is looking at the side of the DJ. Now Elias okay? is right to my right, so you're like I'm like right here. You're like on a diagonal facing the DJ, yeah. right? So and then there was one person to my left. So we're you know, going through the ride 15 minutes in and... Oh, yay, Shannon. The, oh, did she... Shannon, did you subscribe? I didn't see it. Oh, because we don't have this on. Oh. oh, my God. We're the worst. Well, thank you, thank Shannon, you, Shannon, for Shannon. subscribing. Yeah, I think. I'm confused. But anyway, go for it, Chris. So we start... We're riding 15 minutes in. The DJ just... St- slowly lowers herself below the DJ booth. And I just see like a puddle of water behind the DJ booth, just spreading out like bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm just sitting there like wondering what's going on now. Listen, when it's like you're in the middle of the ride, I am very focused on the thing that I'm doing like task at hand I'm like in the moment, I'm like, I do not want distractions. I do not want any of that. I just want to keep pedaling and I keep going, keep going. Um, The person to the left of me, I think at some point like throws a towel, like, cause they give you towels, like when you're riding and all I'm worrying, worrying about is like, oh my God, like there's a ton of electrical connections beneath it like there's going to be a fire like if she spilled her water or what whatever whatever happened and so now like 45 minutes pass and the ride wraps up and i'm still kind of like you know riding the high i finished my hundredth ride you got a shout out i did get it yeah yeah Yeah. because i mean we were in the studio he was for sure going to shout us out and so then uh, what happens? Then you turn. Okay. So then at this point, 
I'm going to just backtrack a little. My perspective as I'm watching this, because I'm on the angle and I don't really see what's going on. I just see a little bit of water uh, appearing at the bottom. And I thought the same thing that Chris thought, which was the um, the uh, fire situation. And when I saw him talking to her, like the woman talked to Chris. And now this is during a live streamed video event, right? Which is like lots and lots of people are taking a, and I'm, I'm confused. I noticed Cody was looking down because Cody's platform is a little bit higher than hers he's looking down at her there's con there's confusion he's actually pulling off what i'm imagining to be some sort of like um course correction you know and i'm nervous i'm like what just happened what did i just observe it looked like she took a, a gallon jug of uh water you know those like plastic ones and tipped it and then I saw the exchange of the towel and all of that. So all of this happened. My brain is not as good as Chris's with the like focus moment. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, this is bad. This is bad. What's happening? What's going on? And so all I'm thinking about is this. And so then fast forward to the 45th minute, <laughs> everyone's drying off, toweling off, Chris leaves. And I felt like bad a little bit because this woman who literally dropped below the the no, it was like Whatever Mr. Was. Bean elevator style. Yeah, yeah. I felt bad for her because that sucks if you had, let's say she spilled something in like, in the moment of like, what are you going to do? You know, she doesn't want a fire to start. So I go up to her and I'm like, hey, you know, was everything all right before? She's like, you know, I just, I really couldn't hold it anymore. And I really had to go. Totally just peed. She popped a squat and peed. In the middle of class. Fifth, it was 15 minutes, 15 minutes in. And, and I like, was like, what? <laughs> what? Um, Sam and, and Watson, she did not look pregnant. I mean, I don't know the answer to that, but like she no, was, she was in, in a, a super form fitting yeah, dress. Yeah, like a really form fitting dress. But she Maybe that could be, I don't know. A squat and peed all over the stage she was super nice and i was sure she was embarrassed oh my god and like but you know who has never been on peloton I again have no she hasn't no she has not dj nix she's not been on oh you just shamed her she peed on the stage <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There, and look, but, the reason why we're talking about it is because of the fact that no, this but was, now my I want my hundredth ride. It's on a hard drive somewhere in Peloton Studios, and I don't have my ride. And I emailed them, and I was like, you know how, because <laughs> <laughs> this is what's important in my life. I <laughs> we wanted to take the class we were at waiting. Home. I wanted to take my hundredth class again. No, no, not an instructor, Shannon. This was a DJ who's like a visitor to the studio and was just accompanying the DJ or accompanying the instructor as a DJ during the time. And I wanted to take that ride. And normally, it's like maybe like three hours before the the rides become on demand. No, it's not on demand, Leanne. And it's not, it didn't come on de on demand. It's gone. And I was sitting there waiting for it. It was like one day passed, two days passed, and I emailed support and I was like, hey, <laughs> this is my hundredth ride and I really want to take it again. When is it going to be available? They're like, oh, sometimes there's a delay. And then I like, it was like four days after that. And they're like, yeah, sometimes there are technical challenges and we don't publish them. But yeah, it Mega Mac, it's somewhere. It's In somewhere. the ether, it's gone. And, and then on top of it, not as interesting, but there was, I took my 200th ride and there was like a mic challenge or something, wasn't it? Yeah. There was like some yeah. kind of issue with the mic. And because the mic dropped out and they didn't have like audio, totally my 200th ride is in the ether gone. too. <clears throat> totally gone. So I think I had my 300th and that was fine, right? But no, listen, Leanne, you can't, you won't find it. I can guarantee you. you won't <laughs> it's find gone. It. It's, it's gone. gone. We have been on the prowl and it's just ridiculous. I and mean, the best look. part, wait, the best part, the next day I told my one coworker who had a Peloton at the time, I told her to take that ride because we're going to be oh, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She took the ride. And so the next day I get to work. And she, I go in there and she was like, oh, congrats to Chris for the ride. She was like, but what happened during the ride? I'm like, wait, what did you see? Tell me everything. And she's like, well, at one point the camera, cause there's like three cameras that kind of move around. So she was like, at some point the camera was just sort of panning around to Cody and then it 
it got to what looked like was going to be where you guys were because she saw us like uh, earlier and the camera quickly went like this she said so it was like pointing down and then it quickly went up and she said she saw the rafters yeah because they're on a track they're on a track on the top of the ceiling and they just pan around and they have like the ability to pan up and down. And someone and so definitely somebody saw, probably her saw her peeing and was like, oh no, this is not happening on my watch and shot it up to, Literally. The, to the ceiling. Chris was observing her and her honeypot dripping pee <laughs> everywhere. Do you get that? I, so. I feel bad shaming her though, because listen, if there's an emergency, like, what are you going to do? You literally are in front of people. Wait, Leanne sees two live DJ rides with Cody and a woman 45 minutes? Stop. Oh, my God. If they, like... What uh, color dress is she wearing? Leanne, if it's a green dress, like neon green... I what I mean, I'm going to lose my mind. Elias, what if you ever, ever had a pee scandal on the stream? Like, you're you always mean? running to the to the bathroom i know i do feel genuinely really bad let's rewind because i really feel bad for her because that is yeah not let's cool. have a little bit of compassion it's a funny dj st- nix stop it stop leanne oh my god gimme are you i want to ride for i want real. that ride i will lose my mind if we are on that it finally processed three years later. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> a poop scandal is worse. <laughs> I can't. Oh, we, right. we've got it one for that. Can I just... I, Wait, what's the poop? Oh, we, my God. No, Chris, save it. The Apple Store one? Oh, I was going to say the other one. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to tell the Apple Store story when we first I opened. also have a one. This is We, we need we to need save to these stories. We need to play the game. Okay, well, tune in, guys. Wait, we'll let's save, save these right stories. Right in the book. We've got... We did our Peloton milestone poop stories. <laughs> I'm writing it in the book. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. And I'm writing the ones that I know. The one out there, the one at Apple. Yeah, Sam. And the first one of all, Barnes Sam, Noble. thank you for being a nurse and dealing with all of this in this these crazy times so shout out to sam and watson thank for you thank you being thank a first you. responder totally appreciate it you guys are heroes in you know your day-to-day work but yeah i agree i think mm. p is pretty sterile if it like i'm okay with that i'm i'm fine with it march 24th 2019 that legit may be the one no Oh, wait, no, 2019? I'm sorry. No, no that's no, incorrect. No. no, it would have been like 20. Leanne, wait. is it? You need to tell me if it's like a green dress. She said it is. I'm going to check my Peloton app while we continue to talk for a sec, and I will tell you specifically the date that I see, because it's my it's one of the early Cody rides that I took. Um, But yeah, um, where, where were we, Chris, just now? I don't know. We're down a down a rabbit hole you never know where the pea stream will rise <laughs> no dress you know no dress that's what leanne said oh. no dress all right well look we'll look into that i'm not going to deal with it now but um <laughs> sam sam is a delivery nurse so she's gotten a lot of fun fluids on her oh my god <laughs> all right so listen let's let's uh, move back i digress i mean we're like we are we are way, way down, down a rabbit, rabbit hole, hole and we need to pull it back a little bit before we get pulled from the stream um just a reminder that you uh if you're new and watching you can subscribe using an, um, animal crossing i was just gonna say i can't do two things at once you can subscribe to our channel using your amazon prime account to get some fun new emojis um yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at another time. So, yes, Brian, there is a game tonight, believe it or not. So, what we are playing is a game called Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter is a huge game in the world, but specifically in Japan, it's a very big game. So much so that CEOs in Japan were giving uh, all of their uh, employees a day off on Friday when it came out last week. And so... We decided, based off of that information, and also the fact that it was a very popular game on Twitch, that we were going to play Monster Hunter tonight. It's called Monster Hunter Rise for the uh, Switch, and it is um, it's a it's a simple game and concept, 
but it is actually a really complicated game to play. So in my mind, there's the easy games, which are accessible to everyone. Then there are the like intermediate games, which like you can work towards getting better at, but then there's like the challenging games. And this is a very challenging game. Um, because there's a lot of control buttons, there's a lot of things going on, but the concept is simple. All we have to do is enter a little area and fight a monster. Literally just that. Like we we put together me and Chris as a team. Oh, thanks, Sam. Oh, thanks, Sam. Now um, you get all the fun emotes. Yeah. And uh, welcome. And and I hope that you enjoy the uh, newest emote that we have, which is the uh, high-fiving Eloise. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, me and Chris are going to be playing on separate switches. I'm playing on what you'll be watching and Chris will be playing on his switch. And our goal is going to be to just slay a monster. Wait, that's I'm going to switch to the game. Yeah, go for it. We had a discussion yesterday um, with Elias. and I was like, uh, he's a much better gamer than I am. I was like, you, you can be the one to stream this one. So this game is taking place in feudal Japan. You can hear this really beautiful song. No, you can keep it up because it's this that's loud. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So I love Japanese culture. Me too. Can I this just put whole, that out like, there? What we're watching here, I want to see cherry blossoms. I want to see someone like her doing this little dance on this little wooden platform. So cool. That is, Leanne, I looked at my phone. The ones that you sent, those are not it. They're I guess it came like maybe it was like 2018. I'm saying I want to say <laughs> Heidi's that's a Chris will chase and Elias will call Christopher often. Exactly. <laughs> you know me. Uh, so as you see here, I'm the little person in front of the fire. That's my palamute on the right, which is a dog and my palico on the left, which is a cat. I have them named cheddar as the cat and tater tot as the dog. So the dog you can ride and that helps you like move along quickly in the board. Um, the cat is meant to help you attack the <clears throat> Yeah, and like give enemy, you, right? and I think you can set it to collect items for you at some point, but we are not there yet. We are, well look, we played like six hours of this game, which su suggests as if like we know what we're doing. And at the same time, I know nothing <laughs> that we're doing. So here's my man. I mean, if that's not a life lesson. Look, Tater Tot and Cheddar. Just brought, look, that's the life lesson. We have no idea how to play this game. We just like to talk and hang out with friends. And so we're going to broadcast that to the internet. And what's the whole thing about you fake it till you make it? Exactly. Thing? Exactly. So we will be absolutely faking <laughs> it. Okay. So look at how we are. So wait, I have can to, I join your friend? Yeah. Oh. I have to go to this cat and tell this cat that I want to play online. Which, let, what a cute cat. I know. So I'm doing this, Chris. So do the Muskrat Nation one. Oh, wait. Searching for a lobby. Oh, yeah. Create one. There we go. Wait, and is this a local or an online one? super secret code is going to be one, two, three, four. It's online, Chris. Not local. Only because I just don't know what the, like, water balloon situation is going to be like, you know? One, two, three, four. Yeah. The cat is bipedal, but the dog walks on all fours. No idea. Oh, it's that's interesting. I think it's because, because the, the cat is more educated. Look. Yeah, because the cat, I was going to say, is like an intellectual thing. You hear that, Raisin? Okay, so look, we're both in it. There's me and Chris. And there's Chris's dog, and there's my dog, and there's... Oh, my God, look at that little cat carrying that. Do you see it? How funny. Ikari the sailor. Okay, one fun thing about this that we have to do beforehand is eat. We oh my love God. to eat. Yes, and can you play the whole song? Because yeah, I'm going to play the whole song. Elias it's skips ridiculous. it. I play it every time because I love it. It's just so fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to eat a meal. And I'm going to pay with money. The point of eating this meal is that you get to pick, uh, for example, in this case, it prevents me or it speeds up my weapon sharpening, which I actually want to do that. Um, it also slightly increases my health recovery from items. And what else do I want? It decreases my damage taken. Okay, I'm ordering. 
order the set, and now I'm going to play the whole song because Chris wants me to. Oh my god, that couch potato song. <laughs> and Mega Meg Cherry Blossoms, love. Look it's at this. so cute. Look at this totally amazing Japanese I want to go to moment. Tokyo so badly. Look at this. Fluffy Bunny Dango, they are a tasty treat. Sure they are. I love the Palo Cute. How cute is that dog? It's like Tater Tot. And that's my character that I picked. Chris is as much sexier than I am. Your dog looks like one of those, like, not the German Shepherd, but the... the Greyhound? Or, um, no, not the Greyhound. I know, I know which one you're talking like about. Like the massive ones yeah. that they look like a monster. Did you eat Chris? I did. I skipped it, and I feel bad that I skipped it, but I enjoyed it. Through no here. sushi. Brian said, in addition to the plethora of solo and multiplayer quests, the immersive story mode will task aspiring hunters with discovering the secrets behind the puzzling rampage events that threaten Kamora Village. That's what this game is about. Every time I hear Kamora, I think of Kamora Hall Same. from Drag Race. I wish, I wish we could like watch. Um, drag race with you guys and just do a stream totally that i would mean be so we much would fun. have so much to say during that an irish an Ir Ir yes yeah jody yes thank you i love this song that's playing right now sam and watson said a friend of mine went to japan in december uh january 2020 right before it all went down oh man all right chris we are but gonna that's be like our disney trip we went right before um before everything and then like that's yeah. one of our favorite trips that we've been on. So, Chris, take a look. I'm going to be doing a snowball's chance, which is hunting a lagombi. Um, I never heard that. Oh, Did they read that? it to you? I guess. All right, so I'll I mean, do that. Just button smashing through all the menus. So, so then what? I go to the blue board and register? Yeah, and then pick that. Not that one. Uh, the quest board right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, guys, I'm looking down at my screen, but I'm going to be asking Elias for a lot of help during this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Brian, what do you mean? So end boss. Let me know when you're ready, Chris. Ready. I think so. OK, we are departing on this quest. Oh, my God. An Irish wolfhound. Totally. No sushi on Mondays. Why? Or no sushi for us ever because we're vegetarians and I, I miss, miss it. Yeah, actually, you, I'm I, what am I saying? I don't miss sushi. I, I miss. Think, I think you you're saying that because I always say that. Yeah, that's that what. is the one thing that I really miss. All right, so look, we have 50 minutes to beat this boss. Okay, so there is a box. There's like a community chest at oh, the here. start of this, and you can either be greedy and take everything or share it. I'm gonna be sharing today yeah, because think, I'm a let's kind be person. Nice. Except yeah, I'm veggie gonna, sushi. That sounds delish. I'm going to take all the ammo because you don't need it. So if you take a look at the bottom left menu uh, map area, Move. there's a couple of big... Oh, uh, Leanne, you're right. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, Elias, and I'll, I'll unpack what Leanne is talking about. There is a lot of... Uh, there's like a question mark and another icon. And I think I need to go to the question mark. So Leanne is saying no su su sushi on Mondays. Um, on the ride that we, the boot camp that Leanne and I did together, Cody was talking about how he got bad sushi oh. um, at like a, like not like a sushi restaurant, but like kind of like one of those places where they kind of all, they have like a mix of things. It's here, Chris. This is it. And he said that somebody, maybe Emma Lovewell, told him that don't get it sushi on Mondays because... Um, oh, it's bad sushi. Because, yeah, because the fishermen don't typically work on Sundays. And so it's like leftover fish from earlier in the week. And so you're Got not it. getting any like fresh fish from it. Oh my God, Chris, I forgot to buy potions and I only have four. This is not going to go down well. I don't even, every time we play this game, I like don't really remember how so, to play it. Chris is a, uh, using a bow. I am not. I'm up close and personal. Oh, this guy's fast. Yeah, he's really fast. I'm not a fan of it. 
Um, now suddenly that we're on display, I feel like nervous and I feel like I'm going to be terrible at this. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we were terrible at Phasmophobia. Yeah, but I think we practiced so much with this that I feel like I will be disappointed in myself if it turns out that I suck at I it. just... Do you know what I, I feel like... I do feel bad that we're just attacking this poor animal. Big time. Legitimately, I get it. When it's like, why? Okay, I wrapped it up in my little wire bug thing. Is it really a monster or is it just trying to live its life? Yeah, I agree with you. So, oh my god. My strength, my, my health is at the top in the green and I have a few potions. Hey, Aw, I love that the animals all help each other, like you, your animals. I agree though, Chris, like this animal literally was just sitting here living its life and we just came and attacked it. And you know why? Because when we beat it, hopefully we beat it, we then collect its, uh, its, it's hide. hide and use it to build better equipment for ourselves. You know? Whoa, Chris, you just put a wyvern blast on it. Did you know that? I have no idea what I'm doing, Elias. You know when you press... Look, what you're shooting it with. It's like exploding. Look, did you see? That is very cool, Chris. You're very good. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. You're putting these things on it that are exploding afterwards. Well, I just changed my ammo. Yeah, that's why. See, listen, fake it till you make it, guys. That's the lesson here. Okay, so look, now that what happened happened, like we beat it like once, essentially, and now it's going to go and like, um, what's the word? Uh, try to heal itself. So we need to go find it and continue the battle. It's probably going to be like a 20 minute battle or so. I'm telling you, whenever we start playing this, it's like I've never played it before. Brian said, I wish that there was a version of this that was where you have to befri- Oh, that's not the monster. Shoot. That's not what we want, Chris. Oh, oh I'm out of here. Where run, are we going? Run, run. I think I heard half of what you were reading from Brian where you have to befriend it, and yeah, I agree. But that's Pokemon. That's what he's saying. It's literally Pokemon. You never, no Pokemon ever dies when you play. It's all about capturing them and then using them, and then they, if they die, they faint. They don't get skinned like in this, you know? Yeah, that's why Pokemon's yes. so successful. Okay, well, so. Why, yeah, do you know how successful this game is? And. All over the world. I'm collecting Listen, these phone files. Elias, I'm trying to justify society and say that society is ultimately good and that Pokemon is more successful than Monster Hunter, which I think it is. I think it is as well, but I also think Pokemon uh, Monster Hunter is very, very, very successful. Oh, wait, it's right here. Where am I going? Look at it. Look, it's like a cute little monster. I don't All know right, where time I'm going. To die. Uh, how I play video games randomly mash buttons hoping I accomplish something yeah that's I mean is there any other way to play Sam I think we're we're the same I don't even know where you are Elias Chris do you see that map down there everyone just take a moment and look at where Chris's blue triangle is and look at where my red triangle is I see a lot of red triangles on my map though Chris are you for real look at that giant square at the bottom do you see it Oh, wait, by the one? Yeah. I okay. mean, Christopher. I'm Are I'm you even for real right now? I'm coming. I'm coming. You're nowhere. I see you going in circles. Well, <laughs> Literally, I I'm watching you go in circles. <laughs> and by the way, everyone, when you play multiplayer, the game gets scaled for difficulty to accommodate more people playing. So right now, I'm fighting a monster that two people should be fighting. Alone. Because my husband left me. <laughs> and is still not here. I'm coming. My dog only goes so quickly. Here I am. Oh, Gurji, thank you. Hi, Jess. Be careful. Oh, wow. I just got a snowball to the face. <laughs> Listen, I am not mad at this animal for fighting us. Oh my God. Yeah, but listen, we are living in an environment where we need to do this to survive. 
Do you get that? But we don't, though, Elias. We literally picked this fight. No, I'm saying in the world of Monster Hunter, this is what they do. Why can't they make, like, synthetic animal Because they're not something? there yet. Those people are working already. Like, they're in the behind the scenes. You know, the versions of, like, you and, and stuff. Oh, my God. I need to get my whetstone. Look, I need to sharpen my sword. Like the way Chris sharpens his knives. <laughs> I Yeah, Brian, this does remind me of the Lionel fights of Breath of the Wild too. Nothing better than slaying a Lionel. I will tell you, Brian, that at the end of the day... What when is the you, Lionel? The, oh, Chris, it's like you didn't play 150 hours of that game. No, Those it's ones the, that are like the centaur. The guardians? No, the centaur ones that are like half... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, okay. but uh -huh. the feeling of killing one is exciting. And oh, thanks. Tant Tantamalum. It's, there's something. Tantalum. So what I'm trying to say is that there is a huge level of satisfaction in killing the monster because you not only feel accomplished, but you also end up getting like rewards, lots and lots of rewards for it. And that is where the gameplay loop succeeds. You know, you go through. You have a challenging 20 minute fight or so, and then you reap the reward. Can I just tell you all that I am so happy my Switch is not the one that's on screen tonight. I feel like I delivered when we were fighting the, the boss in the Elder in Valheim. I'm on it right you now. You are doing, I did well last night. Tonight I'm like, I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Something gameplay wise that's like it's like hard tonight. Yeah, well, it's different. This guy's way faster. And by guy I mean this animal, because I have no idea. I don't wanna assume it's gender. Which speaking of, uh today is na uh National Trans Awareness Day, so happy Yeah, I was so National happy my Trans company Awareness like Day. made a big big deal about it, and that makes me happy. I love that. Uh, Biden posted something about it too today, which is a far cry from where we were a few months ago. Oh, no. oh wow. He just, he like is stomping and rolling everywhere. Brian, the reason why it sounds like I'm smacking stone is because that's actually what is going on. There's, uh, it, th that sound is specific because, look, I'm, I'm carving. Because that means that my <gasps> my sword is getting not sharp anymore. Oh, there's like more monsters here. They're fighting amongst themselves. Look at what we started, Elias. I know, I know. Brian, there's a reason why it sounds like that. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say, and I can't oh even. Oh my talk god, right now. I'm riding a monster. Chris is literally riding our monster right now. Chris, ride it. Hold R and ride it away from here. You're telling hold me too R, many things. Hold <laughs> R and go, go, go. Okay, I'll bye, you. bye. Come on, Tater Tot, where are you? Where am I going? Just get away from here because that monster, it's harder when two monsters are happening. So just keep going. Like? Yeah, just go, okay? And then when I tell you to, you're gonna press Y. Okay. And launch it into the, oh my God. I'm still going. Yeah, just go, don't stop. Still? Yeah. Oh my god. This is a... I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, now you can do it. Now do, you can, what do I do? Like, press Y to launch it into the wall. And I'll follow you there. Oh, that's so mean of me. <laughs> my character just laughed as you said that. Alright, I'm on my way. Let's see. I can barely play Pac-Man or Frogger. This has too many stimuli. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. This is like literally information over. Amazon makes you work for the pre free Twitch subscription. I agree. It's so weird. Ride it or try it. They say there's no load times. The frame rate's impressive. Yes, there are no load times, and the frame rate is super great, and the graphics are really good. I agree. All right. I've come. Here I am. And Brian, I mean, another thing from a gameplay perspective, I am absolutely blown away that every game or every weapon in it is incredibly different. Like they're not even remotely similar. 
and that each game or each weapon is like a whole new gameplay perspective. There's like the foundational fundamental things, but then there's also like the the differences in the weapon. I mean, I am very impressed by like the that it does have the frame rate, especially on the Switch. Yeah. And it and there's is like Listen, when it works and you're playing all of this and it's like you just kind of connect. Like last night, I feel like we were in the zone and like totally felt it. I'm not feeling that tonight. You're feeling that, I feel. No, I'm not. I'm trying to do two things right now, which is like entertain folks online and also like beat this beast. And I find that I can't do it. (laughs) (laughs) It's not working. (laughs) But you know what I really like about this game in terms of um, the gameplay the animal itself will exhibit very realistic behaviors. So like when it starts getting tired and dying, it'll start moving slower. It'll start limping. It'll start like salivating all sorts of crazy. I things. mean, that is just heartbreaking. And meanwhile, we're like not eating meat for a million years because we don't want to be a part of the food industry that kills animals, you know? This, I have one move in my arsenal that Did is... Did he leave? Yeah. One of my, my moves is very uh, slow to start, and I feel like I can't get it on him. I feel like all my moves are slow. Hi, Bella Mag. Welcome. Bella, we were talking about we you. We literally sent you a private <laughs> message to let you know this is happening. <laughs> Because we love you so much. But you're here and that's all that matters. That is all that matters. The night is complete now. Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god, I just did something stupid! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Why can't we have a game where we like take the animal out to lunch or something? That's Pokemon. Literally, you get to cook on Pokemon Sword and Shield. You get to make curry with your Pokemon. Stop it. Yes. I was just joking. I've never even played a Pokemon. Literally. And it's the, the better the curry is, the more your relationship builds with the Pokemon. I mean, am I a game developer? That's what Brian is literally saying. Oh, my God. Do you guys ever play Pokemon? I'd watch that, said Queens of Sword. I do play Pokemon. Chris does not play Pokemon. Maybe we should do a Twitch stream of that and just, I can play like an older Pokemon game or something because I've never played. There's no, right? I haven't played, other than Pokemon Go where we like, we're doing that for a little no, bit. No, you never played a Pokemon. I never played a formal Pokemon game. That's not a bad idea, whoever asked that. Queen of Swords. We can all watch Chris learn all about Pokemon. Like, wasn't there a long time ago there was like a Twitch stream where like Twitch played Pokemon? Yeah, how insane. Because like they, somebody programmed it so that the chat controlled the Pokemon game and as a community they had to beat like the Pokemon, the first Pokemon game? Yeah. Was the first game on, um, on Game Boy or... The very first game was Game Boy uh, in 1998, and it completely changed the world. And that I mean, game is that... literally all about, like, animal preservation. Even though you enslave them, there's, like, a lot of ethical things going on there. Yeah, but it's better than killing them. I mean, technically, the muskrats are enslaved, but they love it. Oh, my God. The muskrats are Pokemon. Oh, I missed that move I just did. Ah. Okay, so it's set, Chris. One of our future games is going to be some version of Pokemon. Okay, that scares me for my responsibility in playing that, but I'm I'm gonna make the sacrifice for for the community. Maybe you can play Pokemon um, uh, Shield or whatever, like the newest one. Just start. I have the game. You could just start a new. Um, can I play a game, a Pokemon that's in color, though? Not like a Game Boy game. Chris, the newest one is for Switch, and it looks great. And we have it. Okay. I'm or or we wait until... I have standards, Elias. 
<laughs> we wait until um, Pokemon, uh, the new one comes out. That is a remake of Sword and Shield. Listen, the community can't wait. I need to play Pokemon. Like, now I'm invested. Now it's like you need to play tonight. Like tonight, the stream is in order. <laughs> Monster Hunter, suddenly we're going to switch and start playing Pokemon. Wait, Queens of Swords. It comes out April 30th. The, uh, um, whatever it's called. Uh, Pearl and... Oh, that's kind of perfect, Yeah, actually. that actually is totally perfect. I can... I'm willing to wait 30 days. Yeah, because then you can play like all like all together we're playing as new, you know? But my question is, am I going to be at a disadvantage because I literally have no idea of Pokemon? Like, I all I know is Pikachu and Squirtle. Look, this is a weird generation. Because then it's going to be like, I know that there's like the you've talked about some app that transfers pokemon and all that kind of stuff yeah it's fine and i don't have any it's of fine that. the way they make the game is that you won't be even if you were to have that in game like in the game you wouldn't be able to utilize that until you are a certain level they, it's very smart how they have it set up because the pokemon are better than you and so they won't listen to you until you're the level that they are how cool is that you know that's clever. Oh my god, this thing is so annoying because it's just rolling all over. Yeah, the place. it's so hard. It, this is a better one for you, I think. Like for your um, item. Okay, well, I am not delivering full disclosure. All right, here we go. Come here, you sneaky jerk. Yeah, it's literally like I can't even hit it right now. Maybe because it's, like, almost done. They usually say something when it's almost done. Like, I don't want to say it's almost dead because I feel like that's terrible. So I'm, like, it's almost I'm like done. glossing it over. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> is it almost done? Oh, my God. Wait, no, not the Diamond and Paul room. Oh, Snap is next month. Okay, that's not a Pokemon game. Okay, so Chris, it's decided you're going to play the newest, the current Pokemon game. Because otherwise, we'll wait till... Like, September. fully through and through? No, I mean, like, maybe just start it and get an idea of what it's like. Like, maybe, maybe the stream can be around to guide you for what your uh, initial starter will be. Okay, that'll be, yeah. That's like my coming out party for Pokemon. Yeah. Elias, is oh it wrong God. if I'm secretly healing this monster? What do you mean you're <laughs> healing it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what I want to do, but... Holy moly, this monster. So we have about, we're about halfway through our time limit for this, Chris. Are you serious? Yeah. This is we're still only level gonna have one. time for like one monster tonight. Yeah, maybe that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. I have my can Chris get it is actually two. Can Chris get? Can Chris get it? Get it? C C G I S. What if we called it like? What if we did a, can Elias get it? Then what? It's C-I-G-I -I and yours is C-C-G-I? -I? I think so. For anybody who's new out there, if we do this, we should probably explain what C-C-G-I and C-C-C-I-G-I -I is. We're just saying acronyms right now. <laughs> and full disclosure, I'm very much trying to catch up on the, on the comments, but it's like not really working right now, so. Oh my god, this man is so mad at me. Why do you gender him? You don't know that it's a man. That's, but you would know true. you would this know what gender the Pokemon are. Why why do you say that? There's they have genders sometimes. They're usually mostly all um single sex, but some of them are No, actually I'm lying. No no no. All of them are um one of two genders or sexes, I should say. 
get off of it. But some of them only exist as male or female. That's what it is. So, like, you might come across one that will only ever be a biological female. And does the, like, the... Um... Oh, he's, like, down. Oh, this is good. This is good. Do the, like, uh, attacks or anything change based off of that, or is it uh, just... Okay, so with Pokemon, it gets... It's or should insane. I not know this, because it's, like, a surprise? No, you won't. I played almost all of the Pokemon, and I still don't fully, like, play to this level, but I will tell you. Each Pokemon is born, like, when it when it's created with a certain set of base values, okay? Uh-huh. And your Pikachu's base values might be different than my Pikachu's base values, right? Okay. And, but what you can do is, let's say you find a Pokemon that's, or like a Pikachu that's like good, you can breed it with another Pikachu that's also good, and then that, that other Pikachu that comes out is then a combination of both of the parents, okay? Okay, we don't like breeders, so adopt, don't shop. And then, from there, you can take that one and breed it with another one and basically form either, like, the perfect specimen or Eloise. (laughs) (laughs) Which would be very unuseful in battle. (laughs) But it would be such a cute Pokemon. Um, but that whole chain of events is something that I just have never like fully gone down. Oh my god, Elias! This thing's the monster's butt is literally Oriole. Yes, it's Oriole, a hundred percent. Oh my god, I need to use a whetstone. This is bad. So wait, people in Queen Japan Queen of Swords saying, dang, Elias is burst, busting out the uh, breeding knowledge. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. I'm like a huge fan. This is a... Uh, this game is like... They took off in Japan for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I said that before when you were, um, I think, looking up Leanne's uh, Peloton. Ooh. Oh, my God. So I had an idea that I wanted to collect all of the Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is the latest one. And I was like kind of getting close, but then I kind of just stopped, even though I played so many hours of it. Oh, there we go, there we go. I got it, got it, got it. (gasps) I'm riding something. What do I do with this? uh, Run away. Run away again. Um, Hold R again? and just run towards a direction. Like, follow me. Wait. Or, oh, no. He's going oh this God. way. The, this, the beast has decided. <laughs> Are you blaming the beast when in reality it was you who made that decision? <laughs> You're all like, oh, this poor monster. And then the moment you could blame the monster for something, you take it. <laughs> oh, he's going in this tunnel. Well, okay. You're fine now. You're fine. Just so what, crash what, it up into the wall somewhere. Oh my god, this is too funny. Oh. Okay, I did it. Oh my god, Queen of Swords, you completed the whole Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, decks. That's amazing. <gasps> Chris, I'm trying to catch my way there. He is throwing a snowball at me, and I don't blame him, considering how I'm treating him. All right, I'm almost on my way. I'm just catching up on some of these. Orioles bunny butt. Totally. It's so weird, Elias, because I don't have any sound in my game because I'm hearing I know, I'm sound. sure. That's and weird. so I'm literally, like, fighting in silence right now. Whenever you catch some or uh, pick up an item, he says yoink, which cracks me up because that's just so, like, 80s, I guess. I don't know. I love that saying. Got to get that shiny charm. I know I missed it. I saw it on the ground before, but I... Um, I mean, when the monster says, go, you, the monster, you obey the monster. Okay, so Heidi, I want that right now. If it's a vegetarian hot dog, sign me up. 
Disney is advertising a hot dog stuffed inside a dill pickle that's been deep fried and served with a side of peanut butter. What? Sign me up. Maybe the monster has a weak spot behind its ear or something. <laughs> so when I'm attacking or Chris is attacking, whenever the letters are yellow or the numbers are yellow, that means that it's a weak spot. Oh, you never told me that. I didn't know. Oh, really? I've been just... <laughs> You're, there's spots on it? Yeah, it's every part of it. Like, the tail is different from the head, from the arm. Oh, no idea. We watched the same video, Chris. I know, but I was, like, paying attention, kind of. Like, air quotes paying attention? Yeah. It's all right. I'll forgive you. All right, thank you. The fact that you've even enter entertained this game for this long... Is enough for me to forgive you. This is a hard game. I know, and the fact that you're doing so well in it is like very impressive to me. We tried playing this game when I was in St. Louis. I think we said this on the stream, right? Yeah, it just listen, what you're all watching is a streamlined version of this game, which is crazy because it's like Oh, they just added just a bit more. We're I mean it is a good game. It's like it's uh, There's a lot to it and I'm and I really enjoy the Oh, what's going on here? Tater Todd, are you okay? It's just like uh, sometimes I don't know what buttons I'm pushing. That's the problem, that it's a little bit overly complicated. But what I was saying is this is a streamlined version of the game, which completely cracks me up because we're both like, wait, what button? What do you have to do? Yeah, and it's like every, because there's so many buttons every time that we pick up the game and I like haven't played it for 12 hours. It's a totally new game to me. Yep. I am getting better at it, though. And I, and I genuinely do enjoy it a lot. And I feel like there's a lot of cool content and I can imagine it's the very epic feeling. Like, yeah, always, especially when you ride the monster and all of a sudden you're battling with another monster, you know? Yeah. Like it's I very said, cool. the beast tells me what to do. I don't tell the beast Chris, what to do. Chris, put wyvern things all over it. Do you see it? It's sleeping. Okay. Just give me a second. Cause I need to just think about what buttons I need to push. To I think it's that. a, just go up to it slowly and press a like all around it. This is so mean. All right, ready? So I'm going to start attacking it, and you blow up those things you just put down. I don't even know how to blow them up. Just shoot them, like ZL and then ZR. Okay. Ready? Just, just do one now. There you go. Good job. Good job. That was awesome. Ooh, uh he didn't know. He was just taking a nap. I read a really funny article a while back before I was a vegetarian about what one feels like playing a game by, that requires killing monsters if you're a vegetarian. And at the time, I'm like, oh, my God, these, like, woke people, you know? Now that I am a vegetarian and I don't eat meat for the purpose of, like, not slaughtering monsters, I'm questioning all of my ethics. <laughs> It's very funny. I do feel sympathy for this poor animal. Yeah, even though it's completely a digitized like piece of nonsense. That. Oh my god! What is happening? Yeah, and I'm still pulling the trigger to win. So is that not like the human? And you blamed it for your mistakes. What, when I was driving before? Yeah, you said the monster is taking me such and such. Meanwhile, it's you who's driving. Oh my god, Elias, I don't think I have any more potions. Check to see if you have any other types of potions. Like a mega potion? I think you might have some mega potions. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did it! How do you know that? Because we both got 10 mega potions for playing the demo. I told you that. Look, and I'm going to give Chris a thumbs up because I'm kind of nice. Great time. I will return the thumbs up. Now, look, this part, I literally will go and slaughter this animal's, uh, or not slaughter. What's the word? Carve? Eat. I feel so bad killing animals in World of Warcraft when I played in the Horde, right? Yeah. 
I'm so happy you all feel this way. Queen of Swords, too. I'm always like, sorry, 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 out loud to no one as I hit them with my sword. <laughs> it's so true. I mean, it's okay maybe... to feel bad and it's okay to play it. It's make believe. Yes, thank you, Mega Mag. I appreciate it. So, so good. Now, look, at least we, we've got the right community of people here. Legitimately. All You're the all compassion. Amazing. I love it. So now here's the cool part of the games. The I mean, all of this is cool, but after we've done what we've done and all the things we've collected, we're gonna go back to that village and now we're gonna go and use that stuff to make better weapons and armor. So that is where the gameplay loop comes from because it's kind of this like, just one more, just one more time situation. And we get extra points for playing with friends. Oh, Raisin, look at him. He's been up here this whole time. Aw. Look at um, Bernie and Cheddar, too. Cheddar. I think Bella Meg passed out again. <laughs> <laughs> Naboo said, poor bunny. I know. And yep, we are back at Honeypot. So listen. Al al although it's called Kamara. Last night, what was it, like 3 o'clock? We both randomly like woke up at some point. Yeah. I I'm don't know why. It's like the witching this. hour or something. And we woke up. It's when Elizabeth Rose comes out. <laughs> <laughs> what Emily or Emily Rose? <laughs> Wait, no, Emily Rose. Is that I it? think it's Emily Rose, the haunting of Emily Rose or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so we both woke up, and I just turned to Elias because there were cats everywhere. <laughs> I forgot about this. All oh over my god, the bed. Chris literally wakes up and he turns to me and wakes me up, and he's like, "We live on a farm," <laughs> but he says it in such a way where it's. It's living in luxury. It's not an. It's not like a a bad thing. I nearly died, and he has forty five cats all over him. Bentley is purring like a monster, and he's like, "We live on a farm." It was so funny. It was every cat except Eloise because she was on her throne for sure. I know it. Even though I don't know it, I know it. Oh, she definitely was. Chris, I have to pee really bad. So just for a sec, switch to the um full cam let's keep the song on because it's very pretty and i'll be right back look at bernie oh my god he's just staring i mean if you were peloton you could just you know go right in the seat and it would be fine <laughs> too soon <laughs> bernie and cheddar have been there this entire stream look at them Bernie, say hi to everybody. Here, hang on. Let me adjust the camera so that you guys can see him. Oh, my God. Bernie has the cutest face, and his fur is so, so floofy. Like, when you... <laughs> he has no chin. Look at him. When you put your like hands in his fur, your hands just kind of like sink right into, right into his fur. Oh, oh my God, Cheddar! Look at Cheddar, everyone! Oh my God! <laughs> Cheddar has like some. I don't know. There's something special about Cheddar's face. Like his eyes, the way that he looks like he's just like smiling all the time. Aww. He is a memory foam kitty. Jess, yeah, they're, I mean, they're all really special. I was, I, I was talking to Leanne um, and I was texting her and I was just saying like how it's so funny because they all have their own personalities. It's so funny because none of them are, <laughs> nobody is exactly the same. They all are their own little kitty. Oh my God, Cheddar's like peeking behind Bernie. Isn't the music so great? I love this music. It's so sweet. It's so relaxing. Konnichiwa Hanipoti, Hanipoto. Oh, that means uh, Konnichiwa is like, um, like hello. hello. And Hanipoto would be Honeypot. Really? <laughs> well, because, it, you know, in Vermont or in um, Katakana, uh -huh. you would say, it would be like Honeypoto. Yeah, that would, that would be that. 
That's your free language lesson. Wait, I need to give Muskrat love. Oh, a gift to Cheddar. He is like being so cute. Reason, I'll give to you because you're just so easy right behind me. <laughs> Look at that. Uh oh. Oh, they're fighting. It's coming to Muskrat. <laughs> Did he Musk just fall off? <laughs> Battle Royale. I think cam. he fell. Yeah, Jess, I think that gingers really do have expressive faces because. Bernie is like, or uh, Cheddar, just like has like a smile in his eyes. Totally, I agree. Right? Um, okay, so Chris, we, oh wait, I actually just want to check to see if I have any armor. Oh, I'm gonna, should I go back to the game? Yeah, go back to the game. So now that we collected all of those uh, things. Oh, fix your camera, Elias. What's happening? It's rotated. Oh, weird. How did that happen? Sorry, folks. Yes, Floof Flight Floof Fight Club. Oh my god, I can't say that. So now Wait, look, I'm gonna on. let me just turn my camera. Oh, I don't know if I can. I look ready. at Oriole. Oh my the... god, I can make my second bone hatchets, Chris. Oriole is just chilling on the couch. He's been there the whole time. So take a look, folks, as what you're seeing. This is where the gameplay loop is is very uh, addicting. So this bone tree weapon that I have is what I'm currently equipped with. And after that fight, I've gotten enough things to make the upgrade to that weapon. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my four dragon husk shards and my two twisted remains. And I'm going to upgrade. And let's see what happens. All right. Sweet. So my attack went up. I'm happy about that. Uh, now I'm going to do my armor. Let's see if I can do any cool armor. Chris, now that we beat that Wait, or that game, which one are you upgrading? Are you doing... Because I think I have marked for my things that I want to the get Akhna to. Sum? Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm going to wait on. But right now we got the Lagambi. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything like better or worse. So I'm not going to do it. I'm missing meaty hide. Do you want my meaty hide? <laughs> I wish that I had a meaty hide. I don't have meaty hide, and I don't have a warm pelt. Are you sure you don't? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't do any more with that. So we need an Ocnesum feather and a Macalite ore. Yeah, but I don't understand where did sack. we get some of this stuff because we had From it fighting the Aknasam. So that we did like harder stuff first. Is that what happened? Sort of. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, um, if we did that again, we would get more of them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know. It's up to you if you want to do another one right now, which would bring us to like half an hour more from now. And then can Chris get it? Or do you want to do can Chris get it now? I don't know. What's up to you? Hang on. Uh, Ms. Lana asked if we could get Eloise, so I'm going to go grab her because she's right over there. Raisin is a constant fixture behind Chris's head. Always. Is Cheddar talkative? My ginger loves to chat. Yes. Oh, it's so cute. I'm going to squeeze out. Of Wait, what's chair. Jess's cat's name? Is it Sam? Wait, I'm confused by that. Three, Milo, Esme, and Chester. Oh, I love them. Oh. No. He said, look at this tail. Bernie. I just can't even that Bernie once upon a time was like... Or Eloise hated on Bernie. Look at this now. Bernie, leave her alone. Oh, she's going to stay for a test. Oh, that, that was it. She's gone. Yeah, she's back to her. That's all you got. But listen, Miss, Miss Lana, I think it was worth the Bambi points. So, Chris, um, that's the question next is, do you want to do another one and try to get the Aknesum? Do you want to do, can Chris get it? Do you want to do 
one and then Crichton can first get it? Like, what's what plan do you want? Because I'm good for whatever. I don't. Care. I am a go with the flow kind of person. I literally have n no idea what I'm doing in this game. 80% of the time. So let's go and investigate what our options are and then decide. Okay. You, you tell know? me. Yeah, you tell me what I need. I love this music too. I'm just like I'm really obsessed with this music. Special quest is coming for you. Which quest would you like? It was this one. Why don't we just do this one again? Look, it's the first one. We know we can do it. We've done it already. And then we can maybe beat the, or get the, the armor that we need. This is the Aknasant one? Yeah, the Aknasum. Right. Yeah, whatever you say. Do it. Good luck out there. What do I have to do? Just run to the room? No, you can press right on the, D or left on the D-pad. Uh-huh. Press up on quest board. Okay. And then just, like, accept it. Join hub quest? Yep. And then let me know when you're ready. Mine are, since absolutely no one asked, Zeus, Karma, Annie, Bella, Jax, Toby, Stormy, Dolly, Sophie, Inchi, Henrietta, Raven, Gizmo, Thora, Tan Man, Louise, Thelma, Sheba, and Athena. It's funny that you put Louise before uh -huh. Thelma. Love that. Heidi, I love all of did those Did you do names. it, Chris? I did. But you're not ready yet. Oh. Okay. Heidi, that is like what I was, that's what I felt like I was sleeping in last night with all of the cats on the bed. Like we need to upgrade life goal. We need to get Heart need, Rob Anderson's bed. Yeah, we need an Alaskan king. We need to get um, an Alaskan king, yeah. For sure. All right, Chris, are you ready? We need to kill an Aknasum. Okay, I'm sort and of... And then I'm super excited for both Can Chris Gets It. By the way, the first Chris get, Can Chris Get It is a lightning round. A lightning round? Oh my god, Chris, try to run down this hill. Oh, I, I'm sliding. Yeah, that's so funny. So, Elias, lightning round scares me a little bit because I need time to think and process nope, before... No, it's going to be boom, boom, boom. Chris, also make sure to get a lot of endemic life here and a lot of like minerals and ore and stuff for this. Beach piece, please said I thought five was a lot. Yeah, actually, Heidi, I have that question too. Are they all inside kitties? Move. Listen, I think that Chris, it's the one uh, by number eight. Take a look at where number eight is. You see? Yeah, my That's screen where we by go. the water. Um, eh, no. My screen is super tiny. Yeah, well, we need a second TV. <laughs> By the way, if anyone is playing this game or has this game and wants to join our group here, feel free, like, when we play it again in the future. That would be a ton of fun. Am I? I'm blue, the blue arrow now? <laughs> yes. You've always been the blue arrow. Oh, I thought you said I was the red arrow before. I was saying, look at the red arrow. That's where I am. Oh. Ah, oh, Christopher. Good. All right, here we go. Let's go back and revisit. I thought today was this Donut Day from Dunkin' Donuts. I just went at it. I started. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't, Get out of here. Didn't Sue tell us that today was donut day? So where are my donuts? That's when I, that's that's the question I'm trying to get to. Did you upgrade your weapon by any chance? No. Why? Because I'm saving it for the the upgrade after we get this thing. Oh. I wrapped it up. Ali B74, hello on Instagram. I'm Cookie Cream Nacho on Minty. Hello. Oh, hey. Yeah, wait, what happened to Body McBot face, Chris? I have not seen one. Oh, you know what? I changed the timer on it. Maybe I changed it. 
to Oh my god, that is such a great question, Patsy. Well, Bella said it was too aggressive, and so I, did, I changed the Yeah, timer. but it's one thing to lessen it and another thing to remove it entirely. No, I didn't remove it. Because I, I want think... more people on Discord. Well, listen, Discord is an exclusive chat that not everybody can join, so... No, that's not true. I want everyone to join it. <laughs> listen, if you know, you know. That's That's how it goes. Heidi said, shh, it's nice without him. No! Oh my god, I fainted. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my god. Okay, so Wait, I just died. Wait, did you just die, Elias? Yeah, so I... now we only have two attempts left, so I need to run back. This thing is running at me like a crazy rooster. Yeah, it's like the rooster that attacked me. All right. Okay, Discord is a chat service that is meant to be used in conjunction with Twitch. And um, if you click, where is our Discord? This is what I'm confused by. I mean, nobody will know now because it's no, a secret. No, Jess wants to know. <laughs> and Ali V74 has been on Twitch on uh, Discord for years with friends. So how do I point? I think, did you put it in our Instagram? Our link tree? Yeah. No. Well, then... I'm like drawing a blank for where it is. No, it's a crazy like shortened URL. Yeah. I don't think you're going to know it. But yeah, it's basically just a chat. And in your name bio, there's a link to it there. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that. Oh, right, right, right. I did that. On Twitch, if you go to Twitch and click on like us, like learn more about the um, Airstreamers, there's a link to Discord. Click on that and you can join it. The cool thing about Discord is that it's like very minimal info needs to be exchanged and shared, and it allows for all of us to communicate with a variety of different topics and things like that. And also, like if we were to play games online, it allows for uh, voice chat as well. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know that. There's like a general chat thing, and it's like open chat, which is very cool. Like just for audio. Elias, we played this one already? Yeah. I find it more just, challenging than the other one. I don't remember it having fire. Is it like if you replay some, they're harder the next time? That is the case for some of the, for some of them, but I didn't think that. Oh, at this he just early broke stage, the house. I didn't see that. Whoa, it's gone. That's I, cool. I saw it collapse. Since no one asked me either, I have four siblings, same litter, that were rescued when their stray mama died outside our house. Aww. Marvin, Colby, Tatum, Pate, Baby, and another we rescued family member, Adolf, and his sister, Jaeger. Aww. Aww. I love you all sharing I'm your I'm telling pitties. you, we have such a great little community here. You all are just wonderful. Oh my god. Yeah, I like, wasn't paying attention before, Chris. That's why I died. Oh, that was a nice job, Chris. Yeah, I'm a professional big game hunter. Yeah, we're going to like... I told Chris yesterday that we si I'm signing him up for uh, eSports in um, Monster Hunter. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, my God. Oh my God I love Can you imagine that. if I just... In eSports, that would be like... Um, like Michael Phelps asking what the backstroke is. How do we get up there, Chris? Do you see? No idea. Follow me this way. That would be like Michael Phelps asking what the backstroke is. Yeah, I'm like, wait, so tell me again, How? what button do I push to, to do that? Just like I said before, make sure you're collecting everything first. FYI, this might be a little bit of a longer stream tonight, only because I have, uh, once we're done with this boss, I have two things that I want to do with Chris, and then we will... Um, wrap up for the night so 
Hopefully, we keep you entertained and you are enjoying this time that you get to spend with us. And listen, it's weekend Wednesday. That's how it goes. Exactly. Oh, I just got some kind of like magic flower. Oh my god, it's a great wire bug. Yeah, it's that one that you told me about. The lily jewel oh, or something. Oh, the jumping one. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm like so not... It's hard. It's so hard to... Last night in bed, Chris, like we were on it. Is this the one we fought last night? No, this was the first one that we fought together. I'm surprised, to be honest, that we even like... Maybe some, sometimes you get into like flow theory. Of it. Yeah. If you don't know what flow theory is, it's one of my favorite things to talk about. I learned it in college. It's basically when like you are, the level of challenge that you're ex um, asked to perform in anything is like just a little bit harder than what you're used to or are capable of. And so therefore it's like challenging enough, but manageable. And so therefore you get into what's called flow theory where you are in the perfect state of, like, enjoyment. And a lot of times whenever we play things, we talk about flow theory. Can and I tell you what my perfect state of... is... What is your perfect state? Eating cheesecake. Okay. Exactly what flow theory was designed for. <laughs> I could do flow theory in cheesecake. Holy moly, you stupid bird. Listen. Is it you... bad that I don't feel as much compassion for the bird? Yes, it is bad. Because you are being specious right there. Do you realize that? No, if I know. You're but all I just like, feel like, oh my God, I can't kill this, you know, AI bird or AI I bunny. know. I'm just, I'm putting it out there that it's bad of me. That I, I should be feeling more than I do. Like, because it's not like a fluffy little animal. I like birds. I used to have a bird named Birdie, and that bird used to be able to speak. Like, it used to be able to say the name Birdie, which I thought was super cool. Jody said, I only have one kitty. Her name is Nefertiti. She's 15 and spoiled rotten. Oh, my Nefertiti. God. Nefertiti. What a good Love name. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God. I swear, Chris is my brother from another mother, the way he talks about cheesecake, said Heidi. Heidi, oh, wait, look, I'm telling side. you, we were like, we're connected. Nefertiti is a lovely name. I agree. I don't know where my dog is, but he's gone. Like, I can't ride a dog. Oh, there he is. You have to be sort of near them to be able to do the hold a maneuver. I don't All know right, what it is go. about cheesecake. I just love it. It's so good. Like, if there's ever a flavor that I default to of being delicious is cheesecake, for sure. That's my go-to answer. Oh, my God. When I was younger um, and I lived in the village, like the my grandfather's village, there was a pastry shop that existed. And they made something that is called potinga. And I don't even, honestly, I don't even think that that's a thing that's made anywhere else. Oh my God, I need to whetstone. And what is it? Potinga? Potinga. Oh my God. Chris, I need to run away for a sec. No, you can't leave me, Elias. I don't know what I'm doing in this. Nobody comes between me and my monster. Let me whetstone, you stupid bird. Oh, it's by its eggs. Oh my god, this is now this is pulling at my heartstrings. Yeah, I do remember this fire. Anyway, this this uh, pastry was kind of like rice pudding with a cinnamony bottom, like a cinnamon cake bottom. It was very good. Like and a graham be... cracker kind of thing or so if you take rice pudding and take away the rice and make it like gelatinous sort of. Okay. And then at the very bottom of it, you have like a, a very thin layer of cinnamon cake. Okay. That sounds That's good. What, yeah, it was very good.
That was the biggest treat. We would go there like at least once a day. Once a day? That was your treat? What do you mean? You said once a day? Yeah, what do you mean? Why? That's not a treat. That's like a meal. Like everybody gets a, a meal once a day. Yeah. But it's not once, a treat if it once happens. Once a treat. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a treat if it happens all the time. I mean, if it, if I had cheesecake every day at six o'clock at night, then it would be my dinner. It's and like you would complain staple. about that? No, I wouldn't complain about it. I wouldn't exactly say Exactly my point. I would point. say, I'm having dinner tonight, and then I would take out the cheesecake and start eating it. I think a treat is like something that's like out of the norm that you're doing out of like a special occasion, not a once a day thing. I mean, do you disagree? All I know is that I'm trying to beat this bird brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it ran away. Okay, good. Give me a second to freaking catch up here. Oh, Bentley is sparkling. Why is that? Um, I don't know. Not real life Bentley. The my my. Dog. Why do we have no one on the muskrat cam? More importantly, <laughs> my dog, Chris. <laughs> How funny! Look, it's like falling apart. This bird. Its wings and st and things are like. Not as clear. Do you know what I like? That you don't have any fall damage in this game. Oh, I know. Thank God. Imagine you have to like find the good way around. Can that be a standard? I'm okay to give up physics in video games. I'm okay to give up uh, suspension of belief or whatever, suspension of reality, when it makes it easier for me. <laughs> so. Oh, thanks, oh, Allie, thanks Allie, for following. Four. Welcome to mus to uh, the real air streamers. Oops. An extension of Muskrat Nation. Yeah, basically. That's what I was going to say first. Why am I not able to wire bug back up? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button this whole time. Okay, so listen, I, I'm going to tell a quick story while we're fighting this chicken thing. Um... And I said earlier that I don't feel bad for the bird, and I'm going to renege on that because I I do feel compassion for birds. When we went on this bike ride, which was like a tour of New Jersey farms. I fainted, Chris. Oh, my God. I'm the worst. Are you serious, Elias? Yeah. I am not the gamer tonight. I know. I need you to... I'm trying, but I'm trying hard to also, like, remain. <gasps> I just you fainted. You fainted? Is Literal waste of time. Is that it? That's it. Waste of time. Well. We are the worst gamers on the planet. It's okay. We'll I'll end on a high note with, but let me first tell oh, wait, my story. Look, we did get some stuff. Yeah. Let me just see. There's always an upside. Oh, barely anything. Jesus. Oh I mean, God. it's something. But there was a, we, we go on this bike ride um, that, is like 90 miles long. It goes to different farms in Jersey. We do it every summer pre COVID and it's always a ton of fun. Um, and we would always stop at this. We'd make a point to stop at this one farm along the way. This lovely couple who has a farm, literally my dream. Like, I think I, I want to be that couple. They always have like a beautiful spread of food for the bikers to stop at. And she has this chicken who she told us a story named... Is this Robin? Clover. Oh, Clover. Yeah, yeah. We buy eggs from them every time because we just want to support them. And um, they... Clover is this little chicken that gives... That lays green eggs. Like, literally green eggs and ham. And we... I don't know why, but like then the next year we went back and we're like, oh, is Clover still here? Like, because we just wanted to know. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's like a little bit older, but she's doing great. She like brought her out and like we both held her and took pictures Aww. with her. We should post them as a reference point. So, yeah. So shout out to all the Clovers out there. She's a super sweet. Well, man. like my Pula. Pula. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Chris, go ahead and... um quit out of the game or save first and then quit and then um 
will do. Can Chris get it? How funny. My sister has two kitties named Owen and Luke. Not completely intentional, but after, or not completely intentionally after the Wilson brothers, but it happened. That cracks me up. Wait, the Wilson brothers. I thought Owen and Luke, I, immediately I thought of Uncle Owen and Luke Skywalker. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Um, no, it's Owen, like Luke uh, Wilson and Owen Wilson. Who are they? <sighs> Tune in for next week's Can Chris Get It to find out. But no, honestly, I mean, now I know who, now I know the name, but who are they? Luke Wilson is the more attractive of the two. Owen Wilson has like a busted face and he was in. Of who? Of what? Like, give me brothers. something. Luke Wilson and Owen Wilson are brothers who are in uh, movies. And I think Owen Wilson What was... movies though? I've literally never, <sighs> I've never heard Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson. I can't. I just can't. What was the Step Step Brothers? That movie is one of them. <clears throat> There's a lot of other ones too. So Christopher, listen, Wedding Crashers. Yes, that was another one. We <laughs> the next time we are going to meet, we have poop stories to share. Um, but before we get there, there's two things that I want to oh, do. Tonight. Okay, I know, I know, legally blonde. That one I know. Chris didn't get the Wilson brothers, but dang, he got a nice Star Wars reference I never saw. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like Clover is an Aracana. Huh. Bella with the, with the, uh, what Bella, is it? Bella What's is. What's the bird aviary knowledge? Is yeah. that a bird? No. Yeah. Bella is, Bella, when are you going to open your animal sanctuary so that you can move to Jersey and have a clover of your own. Yeah, Dixie said wedding crashers. Yeah, that's where you would know him. Sam and Watson said, who the hell is Uncle Owen? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, we can't talk about that. It's too heartbreaking on this stream. Uh, but I will share it because I don't <laughs> give a shit. But <laughs> Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru are from Star Wars Episode 4. They are Luke's grand, um, Luke's aunt and uncle. Luke Skywalker. On the moisture farm. They have a moisture farm. On Tatooine. Yep. And the... And they also have these cups. Literally. These are literally... That's where these come from. <laughs> we saw these at Target and we were like, oh my God, these are Amparoo cups. These are literally and Amparoo literally and Amparoo Amparoo. cups. I mean, you guys, you've seen it here. This is full circle. We, You can't script this. Cheers. Cheers. So... Anyway, they get burned. Spoiler alert. It only happens like half an hour into the movie. They get burned at uh, their moisture farm because the Republic, uh, I'm sorry, the Empire goes and finds them and they know that they're connected to Luke and they're looking for Luke who's really holding, um, what's his face, R2-D2. Yeah. And so they burn. From those little muskrats that yeah. are like driving the big truck. Uh, they're so cute. The they have Jawas. like a Hummer. Yeah. And so they burn Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen. <clears throat> so there's that. Fun times. So we are going to be moving on. <laughs> okay, ready? In, in the spirit of... Uh, let me just do this. Okay, we are moving on to Can Chris Get It? And in the spirit of monster hunting, what Chris needs to do in today's edition is identify either the movie or the name of the monster... In this lineup. Here you go, Chris. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You have, I'm going to set a timer. This isn't like a talk about it situation. You have a one minute amount of time. Oh my God. To Wait, do this, can I okay? see it on the big screen, Elias? It's small here. <sighs> you want to see it on the big screen? I need to see it. Okay. On then the if screen. you want to see it on the big screen, look ahead. Don't look at it at all. Naboo. Also, I. I mean, you have your name after a planet in Star Wars, so you must know Uncle Owen. Okay, do you have the keyboard and the mouse? Oh, it's up there. Give me one sec. Wait, I, I think... Do you got it or no? No, it's not going to happen. Technical difficulties. Okay, the guy in, how long do I have? 
Wait, you're not allowed to look at. Okay, ready? I'm going to give you one minute of time. Ready and go. Um, it's the the handy guy from um, Pan's Labyrinth. Okay, good. Go. Move on. Uh, the alien. What's the proper name? The alien. No, we'll come back to it. Go. The predator. Oh, my God. I know him with his little creepy uh-huh. jaw. Okay, things. go. King Kong. Uh-huh. Godzilla. Go. Mothra. Yeah, good job. You got them all. <laughs> wow. He got wait. it in 25 seconds, and a lot of people are saying five of six. Wait, what is? Wait, why did they not think Mothra? I don't know. What is the alien's full name? The Mother? Xenomorph. Oh. Xenomorph. It's not the. It's not like a proper noun. It's just they're, they are a xenomorph. But you're fine. Alien is totally fine. Okay, so number two looks dirty AF there because it's so dark and tiny. Yeah, well, do you know, all of you, here, here's some knowledge dropped. The alien design is from uh, an artist called H.R. Geiger. He is fantastic in his design, in his art design, and he is very sexual with his representation of the aliens, like the number two alien, where the shape of them looks like a penis. And that's where the design of the alien from when uh, Ridley Scott made the movie, where he got the designs from. How cool is that? There's like a crazy deep sexual nature to it. Full disclosure, Raisin whispered all the answers into my ear. <laughs> Mothra is classic Godzilla. A lot of you didn't and, get uh, Mothra. Look um, at Oriole from Top Down. <laughs> yeah, Oriole. Oriole's on the on the muskrat cam. He's never on it. And Sam I and love Watson, that there's did, an emote for him. How did Chris get all of these and could not know who Luke and Owen Wilson were? Listen, I still don't know who these people are. Oh, right. Uh, Heidi, all new members, if you if we get to can Chris get it, you have to wait a sec for Chris to do it other than uh, so that he doesn't see the um, responses. But he didn't. He did a great job on his own. Look at Oriole. I would love an Aliens remake, as would I love the Alien movies. They are my... Probably my favorite <clears throat> um, horror I, genre. I wouldn't... Or horror movie. Let me unpack a little bit so number three i wouldn't have gotten had it not had i not married you because i know there's a story i'm gonna share my story oh you are and i sort of secretly no i think you should i put it out in the universe yeah let the let the predator know it's okay okay so listen folks go to just for a few go to um is there another one that i have to go to no i thought you said there were two with blindfolds Uh go to cameras only yeah, Prometheus is fine, but it's not a like a, a really creepy alien movie. So listen, here's a story I will share because I, you know, you're all family and friends now. When I was really young, I used to be very scared from horror movies, big time. <clears throat> and I watched Predator when I was way too young, way too young. And it really like traumatized me. I think it's fantastic of a movie like legitimately, but it's very scary. And I didn't like the predator and I didn't like his whole, like this thing. Yeah. Nobody likes that. Creeps me out. (laughs) And terrifying. (laughs) One day I had to get up to go pee at night, which, uh, I did. And the light in the like long hallway wasn't working. So I kind of had to like navigate in the dark. And this was, I want to guess around like 1995, let's say. And so you were like 30 by then. What? No, I'm just kidding. Excuse me. <laughs> Is that what you think of me? <laughs> You're younger than I am. <laughs> Actually, when did Predator come out? Anyway, that's side note. Cause I'm sure not by 95 I, it wasn't. I out. don't know. But I went to the bathroom and I came back and I heard a noise and I turned around and in the darkness of the hallway, like just imagine like a long hallway, like the very, very end of it in the darkness. I swear to you, I saw two like predator eyes, like looking back at me. Right. Obviously that didn't happen. But in my mind's eye, my kids, uh, uh, I know that feeling it happened. And in that moment, I, 
turned around like so that the eyes were facing uh, my back and the predator in case you don't know like aims with very high tech equipment and so it aims with like laser sights at you and I in that moment was sort of like waiting to be blown up uh, you know with like the laser points in my back but I was making a plea to like the god of the world right now keep in mind side note I am incredibly unreligious non-religious same at the time like I was not religious but in this very moment of my life I said to whoever I made a plea I'm like please just wait till 2010 I said bring him back bring the predator back in 2010 and I'll be ready by then to face him (laughs) wait so but (laughs) Elias is uh just below black belt like in karate yeah so like at this point in his life he's training he's like life i'm gonna get to that black belt by 2010 and i'm going to f shit up yeah, with that's the predator. It. that's what i that's why i meant 2010 yeah like, like, i will give hmm. me time predator i will be ready for you yeah like, come at me bro and so then i told chris the story when we first started dating and then i told my well we were dating in 20s uh, in 2006. 2006 so like i knew like i knew that he needed to prep for 20 yeah and my brother and um his ex-wife at the time they both knew and they you know sort of were joking <laughs> around and then 2010 hits and the only discussion in 2010 was like are you ready are you ready did you prepare and i'm like shitting my pants i'm like oh my god i'm nervous and all of 2010 legitimately like i wasn't nervous but like in the back of my mind i'm like what if it could happen you know what if the predator comes and then as i was driving here today and i was thinking of the story like after i came back from uh food town in my mind, I was thinking like, what if I really meant 2020? And what if I was the cause behind the pandemic? You I know? mean, it, you never know. You Maybe never know. COVID is like a little predator man. So anyway, that's my, my, my share. My story. My story is not as complicated and I don't make many promises like that. But, but I, wait, I want to read Jess's. I wasn't religious, but growing up in the Cold War years and the threat of nuclear war scared me. So I prayed every night for nice politicians who kept the peace. Aww. Honestly, that's that's like, like a, genuine, that's, though. That's yeah. a genuine fear. Like literally that Elias, is a fear. you're like out there like on planet X. Yes, but I'm dramatic. Is, <laughs> I'm a young. Jess is legit. Like this is a concern. Literally, I'm a young dramatic gay like that is you know <laughs> my concern was i think it was like candy man or something when <gasps> yes. that movie oh God, i watched chill, when i was too chill, young chill. and i like i remember seeing it and like i could not sleep and i was afraid that anytime that i said anything like by the mirror that he was going to come out i hated mirrors I was chris like, you know that i don't think i've ever told you the story i don't, I don't think i told something. you that but like that is like that was my predator story so i'm going to share something with you right now that I don't live. probably never did live live on the internet to the thousands of people who are watching <laughs> Bella wait <laughs> before not to mess your climactic moment but Bella, <laughs> you didn't ask for it to go away you're like come back and I'll be ready for you bitch yeah 2010 also, I will be ready Patsy for you Stone, it took me uh, my mom took me to see draws when I was nine it effed me up big time So, um, the thing I'm going to share when I was in, uh, my school, my elementary school, this was about two years after coming back from Greece, coming from Greece and I'm still learning the language and everything. Right. So I'm in second grade and I'm now pretty good with the language. Like I have a good grasp of the language and I knew this Candyman situation with the mirror, right? Yeah, it creeped me out. And I didn't like it at all. It scared me, the thought of it. And so two of my friends, like, at the time, brought me to the bathroom because they wanted to try it, right? And so now I'm like, I want to be a part of, like, the cool kids group. So I go and I go, I know, I remember specifically which bathroom, like if Mm-mm. I go back to the school, I would, like, be, I know I would where peace out. Is. I'd be like, you are not my friends. Goodbye. So I went into the bathroom and the plan was for them to do it and shut the lights and run out Mm-mm. without me. No, 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 and no. And they did that. 
That was probably the birth of my anxiety. No, 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 no. That is they a set hard it to no. The mirror. They quickly closed the lights, ran, closed the door, and I'm in this room completely and utterly uh, uh, alone. That is a hard no for me. Miss <laughs> Lana said I once screamed shark and it was a white plastic bag. <laughs> That's something I would do. Oh my god. Wait, actually that makes that reminds me of a poop story that I need to share next time. Oh my god, we've got a whole list of poop stories to yep. share. Okay. <laughs> this is the classy classiest stream you'll find on Twitch. <laughs> where you get all the poop stories you want and pee stories to start. There we go. Um, also, oh yeah, Beach Please, they were not friends. I mean, I didn't communicate with them afterwards. Total jerks. Totally. They were horrible. Bella, 100%. The last scary movie I ever saw was like an Amer- was like The American Ring. I don't know that. I well, know. Wait, oh, oh like The Ring. The Ring, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's a scary movie. That that's the one with the tape, right? Where you Yeah, yeah, look at the you TV. have 7 days to watch it. If you watch mm. it, then you have 7 days to live or whatever. Um, oh shoot. I wanted to share something. Oh, today. So I'm going to share another story and then we're going to get to the second part. Wait, 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 wait. Before I'm just drawing some connections, the ring and the circle, like, I feel like there's a circle on Netflix, the circle, like there's a connection there that they're like seven days and they had two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I mean, you heard it here, folks. This is the breaking news. We'll tell you We're that. connecting the dots. Army Hammer is getting arrested. Did you all see, by the way, I have it written in my notes to share that in, I think I shared it already, though, but they took <laughs> all of Giffy, his belongings right? in Giphy. That's what we had to. That's no, we the thing that we had to share was in oh, Giphy. This is right, why it's in your right, notes. Right, right. We went to go send a message to friends in Giphy, searched Army Hammer, and there is a yes. GIF, a GIF, whatever it is, don't hate me, internet, that has Army Hammer tying knots to show off his on knot Jimmy skills. Fallon. Yeah. Pre like all this craziness. <sighs> we are it's exhausting. So I'm telling you, right listen, now. we know that the predator is coming back at some point. We know that Army Hammer is a cannibal. And now we know the third thing that we just announced that I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably in the book and it's on the stream. Um I saw some of you talk about Saw. Jody, I think you brought it up, and I that is not okay by me. Like the, that movie is not okay by me. Um, Chris, what happened to the Muskrat Nation like like blankety thing? Why is it crooked? Um, it's because they're jumping on and off it, and I think it shifted. Wait, Sam. Um, uh, wait, Miss Lana saying, "Yikes, Sam! I would be scarred too." I missed what that was in regards to. And Sam and Watson didn't it just come out that he like violently raped someone? It's way more. Yeah, it's like, he's actually, a total creepo. He, it's very intense, and I just am. Yeah, horrified by Army Hammer, which apparently we talk about all the time on this stream. Well, we shifted um, from that. From we shifted from Harry, Harry Potter, Potter to, which we're talking about again. Uh, the other thing is today is the day that Mario dies. Let me explain that story to you. Um, for whatever reason, Nintendo is not selling Mario 3D World. Uh, what is it, Mario? No, it's All Mario Stars. 35. No, Mario 3D All-Stars is not being sold after today. Super Mario 35 is closing up shop. Mario Maker for the Wii U is closing up shop. And no one understands like why Nintendo is doing this today of all days. Especially so, because it's the 35th anniversary of Mario. Well, that's why I think it's taking it's it getting just so much doesn't attention. It makes sense. Because it was... So much was going on with Mario for the the whole like year, and now suddenly tomorrow, all of this is gone. And so the internet has dubbed today as the day that Mario dies. So that's your news for today. Poor Mario. So maybe what will happen is Luigi will come into the picture. And yeah, it'll be I won't the hate that. second year of Luigi. 
Yeah, everybody um, needs to. Okay, I have one more thing planned. I can't believe we are here at two hours. I hope we have kept you entertained. I have one more thing planned, and while Chris puts on his blindfold, I will go get what I need to do one more. Can Chris get it? Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, Elias, there's so much for me to... So much knowledge. That Wait, no, it's not April Fool's today, is it? It's coming no, up. No, tomorrow is. Oh, Jess, I don't know where you're from, but we are in here in New Jersey. It is still the 31st of uh, March. New Jersey so. is not an international location. Wait, everyone. I realize that I'm just like spreading false news. I am not saying Nintendo has said this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that the internet has dubbed this Elias as the day that internet died. in a single stream just destroyed a literal 35 year franchise yes. that built up an entire company. Okay, I will be right back. Chris, try to keep everyone entertained for the next minute or so. Well, Elias, can you, oh, Raisin, do you want to wear the. Can you just tell me, give me a hint of what I'm doing? Because I have no idea. No, no. And am I putting the blindfold and entertaining with the blindfold yes. on? Oh my god! Is this how Army Hammer starts his things? <laughs> Elias, it's it's funnier when you're laughing here with me, and not like away in the kitchen. <laughs> So full disclosure, Elias, I did not look in the refrigerator today because you took the purple carrot out when we were cooking. So I don't know what you're in there. I hear chopping of some sort. Oh, is this raisin? It's hard to entertain and talk about anything because I'm totally blindfolded right now. Okay, so but I know this is like a raisin tail right okay, here. So just listen, hold this. Okay. Okay, but don't do anything with it. Yeah, just hold it. Okay. I don't know what I'm holding though. Like, just make sure raisin doesn't eat it because I don't know if it's. Yeah, it's fine. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Cheddar. <laughs> Okay, so in a surprise second edition of Can Chris Get It Tonight. Oh my God, how much can we deliver tonight? We are going to ask Chris to identify what these are. Okay? So take a look. Am I still going to be a vegetarian after I, yes. I eat this? Okay, so Chris. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, towards your like nipple, there's a fork. Your right nipple. I, I only eat with big forks, so is this a big fork? It is a big fork. <laughs> okay. I was... <laughs> cheddar, cheddar. Okay. Okay, so listen. Yeah. Tell me. You're going to need to sort of just feel around with it and pick up one item. Can you, like... Cartesian plot, <laughs> Cartesian plot. Like, yeah. tell me. <laughs> so, if you're holding, if your thumb is number nine uh, on a clock, uh -huh. go and pick number four. Uh huh. A little bit higher. There. Okay. Okay. B it it feels it. like squishy. Fork it. Okay. Is it far down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing came up. <laughs> I'm realizing. <that laughs> This is so much harder than I thought. Is that good? Yes. And put it in your mouth. Am I like stringing it? <laughs> oh, God. What is this? Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> that is not a good mouth feel. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm crying. <laughs> that is cheesecake <laughs> that's I'm correct <laughs> what kind of cheesecake oh my god mm. oh my god <laughs> it's like plain 
<laughs> What's the proper term for it? Cheesecake. Plain cheesecake. Mm-hmm. There's a word. New York cheesecake. Yes, there you go. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Pick another one. <laughs> There's four total. So now you're going to pick number two. Okay. I need another <laughs> Cartesian plot of this. Yeah, number two. Oh, two o'clock? Like two o'clock, yeah. A little left. There? Down. Yeah. <laughs> this? I think I need to feed him. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, right. Can Chris get it is the question of, can I get it in my mouth? Pause. <laughs> like a- okay. <laughs> okay, number two is consumed. <laughs> Sam and Watson said this is highly entertaining. <laughs> Tell us what you feel. Hmm. That one tastes like a marble cheesecake. <clears throat> okay, so I don't think you're ever going to get this name because I would never have gotten a this name. turtle cheesecake. Um, No. Mm. I, legit, I don't think this is a name you know. And I will just poop on stream if you find this out. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> too many stories. <laughs> What it, oh Ali uh, Ali V seventy four said I needed this tonight. What what is it? I'm curious. It's a state followed by when water gets when dirt gets wet. Um, mud. Mm-hmm. Mississippi Alliter- oh, mud. Yes, good job. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now go. I would have to, never gotten that. What is Mississippi mud? I feel like that's a marble cheesecake. Yeah, to be honest, I think it is a little bit marble. Like okay, so I mean, ring the bell because I think. Chris oh yeah, got it. yeah, that's correct for the first one. Okay. Let's actually pretend, Chris, and this is for my highlight. So, what's the first one? Uh, the first one is New York cheesecake. Good job. <laughs> okay, ready? What's the second one? Reliving. I mean, I feel like this is. Uh, Chris, Groundhog's Day. What's the second one? Is a Mississippi mud also marble? Wow. Okay. Good for I'm you. So good. Chris got it. <clears throat> okay. The third one is going to be fed by me. Hold on. I love this. Can Chris get it? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Strawberry. Yep, strawberry swirl, you got it. Mm. Good job. Okay, one more. One more, that's it? All right, let's see. Mm. (sighs) Will he get it? (laughs) He's joking. I don't think he likes it. I don't really get a flavor. I mean, I feel like I... Is it an orange flavor? Mm-mm. Oh, wait. That was the wrong one, but that fit. I meant to do this. Say it again. What is it? Orange. Oh. <laughs> wait, one more. Do it again. What is it? Listen, Elias, I can only fake it so many times. <laughs> orange. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> well no what one was that it's weird i think that chris is doing this because he wants to get another taste of it yeah i mean i feel like i didn't get a yeah a charlie sample. literally what i just said he goes, quote, i don't really get a flavor is really him wanting to get another bite of cheesecake <laughs> is it an apricot no i am very surprised that those are the flavors that you're giving me here would you like another taste yeah, I think I need to taste that one. A better slice of that one. Oh my gosh. Hold, hold on while we do this. Bella said, why do I feel like Chris could eat an entire cheesecake in one sitting? Yes. Oh, I could. You know, you know what? What? What could be happening is, hold on. Okay, ready? It's coming. Here's the airplane. 
What could be happening is that the fork had other uh, flavors on there. No, I really don't get anything. I mean, it's weird because I feel like I get these little like bits of something like not bits of flavor, but I get bits of something like a little bit chewy, like fruit like, but not. I don't know what I have no idea what it is. I would like one flavor that you give me. Like a guess? Yes. Like it's not blueberry because that's so strong, but I feel like it should be blueberry because that's like a common flavor. Um No idea. I literally have You no need to guess. Give me one guess. Uh, cherry? Incorrect. Okay, you can take your blindfold off now. I'm really curious. Here, wait, hang on to this. Yes. I'm lemon s- cheesecake is my fave. I love lemon anything. It's lemon? Oh my God. No, 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 no. Jess said that. Whoa. Oh, sweet. Aww. Katie. Oh, my God. I can't. You're raiding with a party oh of my seven. God. You're so sweet. Katie, <clears throat> how many streams can we dedicate to you? Eggs Seriously. For sale. So, yeah, you guys need to go follow Katie on Eggs, Eggs for, for Sale. sale. She is just fantastic. So what we're doing right now, in case you are joining us, uh, Raid Party, is we are doing a game that we play called Can Chris Get It? And Chris today had two Can Chris Get It's CCGIs. And this one, I don't know about Fantastic, but she does say hello. (laughs) (laughs) This one was him having to guess which cheesecake he was just eating love you too so he guessed new york style he guessed mississippi mud which like who guesses that he no i full disclosure i guessed i guessed turtle cheesecake but let me see because that's you missed the easiest one yeah this is more like a turtle cheesecake no not that one And what did I guess here? This is strawberry? Yeah, you got that one. You got Mississippi mud. You got New York. What did you not get? Look at the top. Yeah, it's chocolate. I get... He missed the chocolate. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, I got no chocolate out of it whatsoever. I I mean, it's literally chocolate. Why don't you... Did you taste it? Taste it and see if you taste chocolate in it. Okay, I will do such a thing. Because I'm telling you, it oh, did God, not taste like Oh, God, the horror chocolate. of having to taste the, the chocolate cheesecake. To... Oh, my God. I'm Please, no. Twist my, <laughs> twist my hand. Okay, here we go. Do you get chocolate from no. it? I'm telling no. you, it tastes like plain cheesecake, right? Yeah. I think Chris wait, got it. Wait, legitimately, I promise you, and I'm not just saying this because he's my husband. But Chris I would, got it. I would say there's more orange in this. I, yeah, I'm right? baffled. I'm telling Look. you, I was tasting, I was tasting orange, and do you taste the little like bits in it? Like, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is. Well, it looks not like I have chocolate. to take another bite. Of this New York cheesecake. And I'm telling you that one that they're calling Mississippi mud is turtle cheesecake or like German chocolate or something like that. Oh my God. I can't believe that I'm suffering through this. Yeah. Isn't this a great, can Chris get it? I mean, you're not even going. Oh my God, Chris, look at what Sam and Watson is saying. (laughs) Do you see it? Maybe it's chocolate orange i was looking at eggs for look, sale look katie was saying that we need to go to shop right and riot <laughs> <laughs> all right can you read sam and watson sam listen we've had this discussion elias drinks orange juice with everything doritos can i have a glass of orange juice afterwards like barbecue sauce he will have an orange juice chaser with. It's like, it's really weird. But no, you're missing the point, Chris, that 
I've never understood the appeal of that combo of chocolate and orange. How much have I talked to you about that? No, I know you. Uh, it's guaranteed. I love Sam and love, Watson. Love, love. If Elias has orange juice or has <laughs> chocolate, he will have a glass of orange juice afterwards. No, 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 not after toothpaste. No, listen, <laughs> tone it down a little bit. That is a monster situation, which fits in the theme of Monster Hunter tonight, which we failed miserably at. Um, turned on the treadmill. It's dinner time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for, sure, for sure, for sure. Mm. No, I like chocolate and orange, and I like chocolate, or I'm sorry, orange and some other things. It's let's leave it at that. Does the orange juice include a lot of prosecco? Because then I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Weasel knows what's going on. So take a look. Someone asked, is there anything on the packaging? Right here is the list of all the, the, the flavor it's super types small. Right I don't think they can read. Yeah. So what but... it says from the left to right is dark chocolate, New York style, Mississippi mud and strawberry swirl. So Terry's chocolate orange is yummy. Don't know if you get it over there. I don't think that we do. When my sister was pregnant, she was obsessed with orange juice. Are you saying something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm pregnant. That Nicholas. could be. Can you just hold on to this for a second? Yeah, the muskrats are rioting. Yeah, there is like it's we need like, to go. Yeah. I it can't is. believe that it's now been two hours and eighteen minutes of us doing this. And it still feels like we just started. In case you just missed and what we did. Katie by the just way. joined and I feel bad because I would just sit here and hang out with Katie for forever. Literally. But yeah. <clears throat> literally the muskrats are gonna attack us if we don't. But just to recap for the folks who just joined us, we played Monster Hunter. We succeeded on our first mission. We failed miserably on our on our second mission. So we can't go on anymore right now because the muskrats will absolutely lose their minds. So I want totally be back for another stream. This was so much fun, like muskrat meals, but better. Thank you, Sam and Watson. So much fun. Love we that. love doing it. And I <clears throat> love, 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 love Katie's idea. So listen, again, Katie, we dedicate this Twitch stream to you. But I think we should do our first raid. What do you think? Like, we've never done this before. We're like gonna, right now? We're going to do a raid? Yeah, let's raid another channel. How are we doing that? I don't know. It's Katie's idea. Katie, how do we even do that if we raid I think a if we go to Twitch. Um, hang on. What's happening? I just need the keyboard to connect. Katie, we just need to know what in the world we're doing. We're going to go to the Twitch dashboard. And we're going to raid another channel. What, is it broken? It's not connecting. Are the cats in the way? The water balloon. <clears throat> are we oh my god can we really not type <laughs> wait i think we can do it can we do it on the phone well get let's watch the stream labs because i want to see what's going on i need to learn all the twitch stuff apparently i do too type raid write the name of the channel wait katie's telling us what's going on did you see Type go. slash raid and write the name of the channel. Hang on. So what we're trying to do right now, my friend Ryan is playing Valheim. So go there, Ryan, R-Y-N-E. Okay, we'll do that. So wait, Katie, where do we type that? Just in the chat? Yeah, Katie, tell us. Wait, unless there's someone else you follow, you want to raid. No, 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 totally. Ryan's that, yeah. But how, Katie, how does it work? What do we do? <laughs> Educate us, Katie. I was really shocked with some other voices just now, LOL. I don't know what that means. Yeah, the that was because I opened up the Twitch page and it started auto-playing a, oh, a yeah, video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that? Copy and paste what I wrote. Look. Yeah, I think that's it. So then just chat. Oh my God, we're learning so much tonight. Scroll down. Scroll down. That's that's it. That invalid username, then it brings us all there. Go, Just copy and paste exactly that, what Weasel wrote. <laughs> oh my God, Chris. <laughs> we're so, Literally oh my God, the worst. We're such an embarrassment. And then chat. Okay, so now what? 
Here we go, guys. We're going on an adventure. 26 viewers are ready to raid in two seconds. Okay. We raid are now, going Chris. on an raid adventure now. together. So now what? <laughs> Wait, are we supposed to see? Okay, got it. Is his name Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Wait, so Katie, I'm confused. I don't know if you can still hear us. Are we supposed to see that? No, I think our every all of our followers are now moving over there. So we're going to close our stream and... And that's a wrap. Did we do it? Did I don't we do know. The thing? You see at the top, it said we're raiding. We're going. <laughs> Ooh, mature content. See, they're all watching, but we can't see it. Okay, well, that's a wrap. So I think... Oh my God, I'm so confused. I just feel like me and Chris are blind right now because we're still seeing ourselves and like not seeing anything But I think else. we're shifting all of the viewers over there. So like we're going to close it up. And but it seemed that Katie and friends all were able to hear us and see us. You know what I mean? But they were all in the chat, right? Wait, like look down here, Chris. It says manage and unhost. What's that? You see it? Manage maybe? No, manage. Pick a channel to host. I have no idea. I'm so confused. I think we do unhost, right? Like, we need to watch a video on it. Put it in the book, Elias. Okay. We're going to learn how to raid. And we just want to say thank you to Katie again. We are raiding another channel, which um, we need to start following. How to raid. Got it. Okay, well, thanks, folks, for all of this fun, and it's been a blast, and we have no idea what we're doing. Um, but we're going to pretend like we know what we're doing. We had so much fun tonight, and it's been officially our longest stream. If you remember, uh, we mentioned earlier, if you are not a subscriber um, and you are an Amazon Prime user, please subscribe to our channel. It would mean a ton to us, and we can also get um, fun new emotes, which, Katie, by the way, there's a new emote in case you didn't see. And <clears throat> we typically stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Today was an exception. And... And why don't you guys just enjoy the channel that we rated? Yeah, and that's it. So we'll see you on Friday at 8 Eastern. See ya, everyone. Bye.